Part of Governor Gavin Newsom's revised budget cut plan includes slashing funds promised to support campfire recovery efforts. Brandon Benitez joins us now with more on what this means for the Paradise Irrigation District. Yeah, Alan, that's right. Over $7.3 million were reverted from PID in this budget cut plan. Now, recovery efforts in Paradise have another roadblock. It's tough. It's a, it's a shock. I don't think the shock has wore off yet. Over $7.3 million given to the Paradise Irrigation District now gone. This was to allow us to get, get kind of our feet underneath us, allow normal operations to happen through the recovery process, but also it was to allow us to go through a study which was linked to the, to the money, which was to look at options available for us to s sustain ourselves through through the rebuild and then into the future. PID has been at the forefront of recovery projects since the November 2018 campfire, but Governor Gavin Newsom's latest cut leaves many frustrated. It's ludicrous that uh, the, the legislature approved it, you know, and it's a vital thing. I mean, having clean water is a big deal. We feel like we're kind of on out on a, a little bit of an island. Um, that it, it just feels like the state has let us down. Now during the coronavirus pandemic, PID's Kevin Phillips and his team have to think on the fly. We're reverting resources away from the rebuild now, having to think about um, what, what funding's available out there, looking for new funding available that we didn't have to at, uh, for this next year because we were relying on this 7.3. Uh, and that 7.3 would have got us through not just the next year, but a little bit into the following year. Phillips told me three weeks ago PID was in communication with the Department of Finance and was hoping to be in the loop if any cuts needed to be made. The first time he heard about the reverted funds was last night through a third-party source. Live in studio, Brandon Benitez. Alan, back to you. Thank you, Brandon. Assemblyman James Gallagher called this a cold-hearted decision and says it won't be tolerated.